Hello people, welcome back to the next part of this tutorial. So this is part 2 on how to plumb a simple bathroom. Now let's get right into it because there is a lot to cover and we don't want to spend too much time here. So this is what we did the last time. We learned on how to create the external drainage system that is the soil pipe and the wastewater pipe to go to the septic tank and to the soaker wing. And this is what we are able to generate for all those who watched the previous video. Now, if you haven't watched that, please, I would like to ask you to please do that. I will leave the link somewhere around the screen so you can just click there, watch the first video, watch the part one, and when you are done, you come back and then we go through the part two. Is that okay? Thanks. So, for those who are here, who have done part one already, let's go to part two. We are supposed to be discussing on how to connect the domestic water system. That's the cold water system and then the hot water system. Starting with the cold water pipe, we're going to run the pipe in the ground floor. So I'm going to come here and go to my system tab and then select pipe. For now, I'm using the PPR pipe. I'm going to give it a 20 mm diameter. There's no fixed rule. You can decide to make it 20. You can decide to make it 15. If you have your calculation right, it should work and based on the water pressure in your area. So in this case, I'm using a 20 mm pipe. As we said, I'm running the pipe from the exterior side into the building. Now, I didn't check the middle elevation. So let's do that quickly. So my middle elevation is going to be minus 650 so that it goes below my F level. I want it buried in the ground, okay? So minus 650. I'm gonna run it into the building like this. Click once. And before I run it through the walls, I'm going to raise the elevation to a level that can be utilized in the building. Is that okay? So I'm going to raise my cold water pipe to 850. Again, there is no fixed rule. It should just be above the flow level. Some decide to do a 600, some 450, some 850. I'm going 850, okay? If you want to follow through, please just yes, do also 850. So I run it through to the end of the wall, the next corner, and the next corner. So the idea is to get it to the last fitting in the project. In this case, that is my water heater. So my cold water pipe has gotten to my water heater. That's good. Now you realize that my system classification is kind of down because my pipe is black. So move over to properties and tell Rivet that this is a cold water pipe, not a hydraulic supply. So underneath mechanical system type, scroll down and select cold water or domestic cold water. There you go, domestic cold water. That's what I have. Now, automatically, mine changed to blue because I've already done the setting before. If yours doesn't change to blue, please, it's not a big deal. We'll cover that in a later video. So, my cold water pipe is in place. Let's check that in 3D and see what we have. Nice, I like that. So, now all we have to do now is connect the fittings sorry connect the fixtures to my cold water supply line and the first fixture we're going to start with is our basin i'm going to look for the angle valve right underneath the basin there i'm going to click on the connector to create the pipe and i'm going to join it like that so automatically i have created my basin and connected it to the cold water line. Let's find a view that will easily show what we have done. There you go. So again, the piping we have here is 15 mm and this is 20 mm. So automatically, like we said in the last video, Rivet created a reducer right here. Okay, there's no big deal. They will do that automatically for you. So you don't need to worry about that. You can just go ahead and do what you have to do. 
Let's move on to the, the view C. That is also cold water. You click on your angle valve. You click on your connector and you connect it to the supply line. Beautiful. Just like that. We're going to do the same for the shower head. Okay. The shower mixture. You click on your cold water, create pipe, connect it to your cold water line. Beautiful. So far, let's see what we've done. So we have the angle valve that will supply the basin shortly connected to your cold water line. Good. We have the angle valve that will supply the WC connected to the cold water line. Good. And we also have the shower mixer connected to our supply line or cold water supply line. Now, all we need to do is supply the water heater with our cold water so that it can turn the cold water into hot water. Now, this is an electric instantaneous water heater, which is why you see the size is quite small. It doesn't store water. The water just passes through there and comes out as hot water and it's electric. So if we move on, we actually see that we can actually connect that directly. So I'm going to click on that. Yeah. And uh, should I do it in elevation rather? Well, let's cut a section here. Okay, so we cut a section. Now we see the different connectors on the water heater. I'm gonna create a pipe like that. Okay, and like this. Okay. Now remember, if your pipe appears like this, you come downwards to your detail level and you change it to fine. See, it works every time. You move back to your ground floor plan so that we can actually connect the two pipes we're going to turn this and to send it backwards so that it actually meets with the pipe on the other side and we can now come to your corner trimming the center corner or the shortcut key is tr so you click on that you click on the pipe and you connect it to the water supply so now our water supply pipe is supplying our water heater as simple as that isn't it good all that is left is for us to throw a valve over there and then we are done so i'm going to throw a valve here let me see if i can get one quite fast architecture components uh, no i won't save now let's move on good okay so i have been i have a valve here i'm going to attach that to this right there okay so that's our valve people so we have this here in case we need to run some maintenance on the system or it's faulty or even we even want to disconnect it for the meantime you can actually shut it off work on it and do whatever you want to do and then switch it back on afterwards so that's your valve there we need to run our hot water but before we do that, let's connect our WC and also our basin quite fast. So go back to the ground floor plan. I'm going to show you how to do a flex pipe, a flexible pipe in Revit. Just like the one you see on your screen right now, that is a flexible pipe. Now we're going to do this in Revit. We're going to connect that to our fixture, the tap over the basin we're going to connect the cold water to the tap over the basin so what you do for a flex pipe is you click on your angle valve or whatever connector you have you right click there and you say draw flex pipe okay draw flex pipe you click on that now you want to move around with this one a little bit you know so they give that curly effect good and then you finally you end here that is it so that's how you draw your flex pipe. Now remember to do this in the ground floor view or the 3D view. If you try to do this in section, it's not going to work. Let me show you what I mean. So let's cut a section. Let's hide this. We don't need this for now. Okay. So we have our flex pipe that we've created. Okay. So we have our flex pipe that we created. See, it looks good, doesn't it? very nice one beautiful one we can play around with it a little bit you know give it a bit of style 
anyhow you want it to be. Yeah. But if I were to do the same thing here in the section view and I right click and I say draw flex pipe, you see that it's not responding. It, do it doesn't show because it's blank is hidden. Because you cannot do that in your section view. For now, Rivet cannot draw flex pipe in section view. Let's take note of that. So you move over to your ground floor plan and you do it there, all in your 3D view. Is that okay? So the next thing we want to discuss is our flex pipe. For now, it shows as a line in your ground floor plan. In order for it to show like flexible pipe, you move over to your property tab, graphics. You see your flex pattern. You change that to flex and you actually have a flex pipe showing with your flex pattern. Is that okay? So we've done one connection. Let's do the second one so that we can actually get used to doing this. So again, you click on your valve, you right click and you draw flex pipe. You run around with that a few times, like one, two, and finally you bring it in for the kill. There you go. Now this point shows that there is a connector. So you know that's where your connector is. We're going to turn this to flex pipe. So properties, graphics, underneath flex pattern, flex. We can't see this because the stretch is, just, is not long enough. Now when the stretch of your flex pipe is not long enough in Revit, Revit doesn't give you the flex pattern. So in this case, what you want to do is you want to stretch it out a little bit. Yeah, you know, just stretch it a bit. You see? Now, Revit gave you the flex pattern. When it thinks it has been stretched enough, they're going to give it to you. So, don't worry. You can come back to your section and try to adjust it as much as you want. In this case, kind of looks good for me. I'm just probably going to do this. Now, let's look at that in 3D. Make sure it's not entering the WC or anything. Oh, good, good. It's not. It's not. We have a clear road ahead of us, so maybe place it a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. I like that. Now let's see the one for the basin. Okay. Nice. Let's see where it goes. Now, before you, before I forget, I have these connectors at the bottom. You see them? So this for the cold water and this for the hot water. Now they all go into the same tap. So you see what we've done? Beautiful. Let's look at that and see. Okay, so let's move on. You ready? After connecting our cold water, the next thing we want to do is connect our hot water. Now the hot water is coming from the water heater, the electric water heater, and supplying the shower. It is not supplying the WC. We don't we don't need hot water for WC, and it's also supplying the wash and basin. Is that okay? Good. So let's get started on the hot water. Again, we're going to turn our section towards the hot water heater. I'm going to cut the section right here. Click on that. And quick reminder, people, in the Rivet plumbing system, the water supply, we have hot water on the right and we have cold water on the left. Okay, so hot on the right as this, cold water on the left as that. So I'm going to draw this like I did the first time. Modify, go to my ground floor plan. I'm going to rotate this in here as this, good. And I'm going to draw this pipe. Now before I continue drawing, I'm going to set the elevation from the ground floor. So in this case, I want my hot water pipe to be at 900 above the ground floor. And we're going to run it back was into the building all the way towards our wash and basin once we're there job is done now all that is left is that we now start connecting them like we did for the cold water so connector we're going to use the corner tool to connect this and this there you go it's connected we move on we move on to the shower you select, you click on your connector, create pipe, connect that, it's done. Okay. Quite fast, wasn't it? There you go, there you go, there you go. Beautiful. 
Yep. So hot water is connected. Cold water is connected. Now we're going to do the finishing touches where we add the fittings. So this, for example, you create similar and you give this. I want to place it in the center. Good. There you go. So made points. That's how you know you're in the center of the pipe. Now we're going to rotate that so that the handle comes forward. Is that forward? Yes, it is. Perfect. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the flexible pipe from this angle valve to the mixture tap. Is that okay? To the basin tap. As we said, you click on your fitting, you right click, you draw flex pipe. Okay. You want to run around with that a bit, you know, before finally coming back to the main point. There you go. So our flex pipe is in. We want to see the pattern. Move over to properties. Underneath properties, you have graphics. On the graphics, you have flex pattern. And you change it to flex instead of single line. Sweet. Beautiful. So that is our cold and hot water connection to the various fittings in the building, to the various fixtures and appliances in the building. Okay, now let's check that in section. Make sure that the flex pipe is not interfering with, with anything at all. I'm gonna raise it just a little bit for fear that it might actually fall in and interfere with the trap. Okay, there you go. Just like that. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Okay, it's all good so far. Let's look at that in 3D. Let's look at it at the bottom, see what's happening here. Oh, great. Nice. We have all the pipes and all the fittings connected. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the pipe that takes both the cold water and the hot water to the shower head. Okay. So we're going to go back to ground floor plan. We're going to create another section. here okay nice open that section up let's hide all of this so that we see exactly what we're working with come down to detail level fine and uh, yeah I should have hidden this too okay so I'm gonna hide this temporarily so that can focus on something else here now there are more than one things over there that's not good I'm not liking that but anyway, it will still work. So you click on your pipe, you bring it out, and uh, you bring it up was. Now we're gonna connect this to the shower head. The shower head also has a connector. So the minute we get there, it's just gonna lock in place. So you just right click, you draw pipe. Okay, so there you have it. We just created our piping. Now we'll take both the hot and the cold water to the shower head. Let's see that in 3D, see what we have. There you go. So for this one, we see it's not really color coded because it's both cold and hot water. So let's look at our system, make sure everything is done. Everything is connected, everything is done. Good. The BC connection is good. Okay. Water heater, good, good. Now this is not for us, this is more like for the electric parts. So this for the, the electricians. So we're not gonna test that. Okay. Everything seems to be good. I love the work. And we're gonna leave it at this. So, if you haven't already, please uh, like the video, comment, subscribe. We want to see how many people are interested in the content that we're creating. And is it, if there's also another content you want us to create, whether Revit architecture or anything at all you want to actually know about, please uh, let us know in the comment section, or you can send a message in our Telegram group. And we'll create a video to clarify your concern we'd like to wrap this video here thanks for watching hope to see you next time